So this is uh, my cartoon depiction of a yeast cell. And uh, what I've shown inside of the cell are uh, membranes that uh, cooperate with each other to organize this process of shipment of proteins outside of the cell. And what we did was that we uh, identified the genes that organized this whole process. And when we cloned the genes, we could discover that uh, later on that the yeast genes have their equivalence in the genomes of all other cells, even human cells. If you ever have a vaccination against hepatitis B, it's made by a, a, a particle that's actually manufactured in a yeast cell using this, this pathway. Likewise, one third of the world's supply of human recombinant insulin is made by secretion in yeast, by putting the insulin gene into yeast and harnessing that power of that process to uh, fool it into, into making a human protein. So winning the Nobel Prize has given me uh, the visibility that, that uh, allows the university to uh, amplify my voice. <laughs> on October 7th, I suddenly got a megaphone. My views on public higher education have not changed for many years. Fewer people would listen to me until now. We, ha we have to convince not only the legislature, but the people of the state that this is what, where their money should be invested. I think there has been a, um, uh, an, an unacceptably diminished uh, contribution to the, to the nourishment of our next generation. Uh, that's the message that I'd like to give.